Hey guys, it's Judy here with my life as Geek Guy. On this channel, I create videos on product reviews, makeup tutorials, and lifestyle advice. With the aim to entertain, educate, and enrich the lives of others. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I would absolutely love for you to join the Geek Guy family. And if you're returning here to my channel, then welcome back. Today's video is going to be the first in what I hope is going to be a series on my channel. And I'm going to be calling this series Ask Judy. Now it's kind of like a Q&A series or maybe an advice section. I don't know. I don't know. A lot of people ask me questions on DMs, whether it's regarding makeup, regarding lifestyle, just checking in on life in general. And I thought it would be nice if I could maybe use those questions to create content for you guys. You can be anonymous if you like, or you can let me know in your DMs if you don't want me to say your name, or if you don't want me to put a screenshot of your DM up on, on the screen, I don't know. This part of my series is something new and different, and I wanted to try something new and different on my channel. The feedback that I receive on my chatting videos is actually quite positive, so I thought, why not make a series out of it? So this is the introduction video of what I'm going to be calling my Ask Judy series. So what I'm hoping in this series is to be able to answer your DMs, your YouTube comments, your social media private messages, whether it's on Facebook, Instagram, your questions here on the YouTube comments. You can ask me absolutely anything. My hope on this channel is to be able to entertain, educate, and enrich your lives. So any question and answer I give to it might be able to cover one of those three areas. I'll try and answer your questions to the best of my ability, like I'm in no way at all an expert in like anything, but I do know some things and I thought maybe you guys would like to hear me talk about my knowledge in whatever area you might ask me about. Your questions can be funny, they can be stupid, they can be criticism, I will answer them. I'm open to feedback, criticism, anything that will improve me as a person and my channel and the content that I create for you guys. So yeah, let's talk. Whatever, ask me anything, ask Judy anything. I'll try and be funny sometimes. I'm not inherently a funny person. I think I just have my own flair and personality, but I wouldn't call myself hilarious. <laughs> I don't know, let me know what you guys think about this idea. If you have any questions in your mind right this moment, drop them in the comments down below. I will answer those questions in the next Ask Judy video. I will compile them all, I will answer them. Let's talk. I'm your friend who says stupid things and puts it on the internet, so <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know what you think of this idea. If you like it, let me know in the comments, give the video a thumbs up, and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future uploads. To give you a little bit of a taste, I hope it will be a good one, but to give you a little bit of an insight, I have a few questions here that were left on one of my Instagram posts. One of my lovely subscribers, she is quite active on my Instagram and my YouTube. Her profile name is Alexandria J Official, and she asked me on my Instagram, how do you do winged eyeliner without looking like a drunk? Well, I've been doing eyeliner for many, many years now. The number one that has helped is finding a tool that really works for me. I use the Maybelline Master Graphic Eyeliner. It's like a felt tip eyeliner with an angled edge. I find that that is a tool that works the best for me and my hand, my technique. Also, I've been doing eyeliner for a long, long time now. So it takes practice, it takes perseverance, and it takes good tools. I tell you what, I kid you not, I looked terrible the very very first few attempts of eyeliner that I ever did so don't be discouraged if you want to learn how to do eyeliner then just practice another one of my lovely subscribers actually followed me on social media because I was at work one day and I was serving this lovely Asian lady at her table and she said to me I know you from your videos and I was like what I live in a small country town and someone right here in my workplace, which I don't share on the internet, obviously, but here at my workplace, there's someone saying, I've watched your videos. And I was like, oh my God. At that point, I had only like 460 something subscribers. For someone out in public, outside of my videos, to come to me and be like, hey, I've seen your videos. I was like, <laughs> That it was actually really really exciting for me and I, I'm not even big on YouTube yet So I'm just like that was huge anyway She followed me on Instagram and she's left me a question Do you think you will ever leave the town you're living in and move to the big smoke? Which I'm assuming is Melbourne, which is the biggest city that I live close to I honestly don't think I will ever leave this town that I'm living in right now and move to the big city I have lived in the country since I was eight years old 
I grew up in a tiny, tiny, tiny little country town. Nothing ever happened there. And when I was 20, I moved to the country city that I'm living in today. And I've been living here for the last seven years. So no, I don't think I will ever leave it. I love this town. I have all my friends and family living in this town. I'm comfortable here. I'm planning on buying a house here. So no, I don't think I will ever leave the town that I'm living in right now. It's not huge. It doesn't have all like the big shopping centers that Melbourne does. But I mean, it's sufficient. It works for me. And yeah, I, I love my city. I'm not gonna say never. Never say never. In life, you never know what's gonna happen. Life can throw curveballs at you unexpectedly. And before you know it, I might find myself in America. But I mean, who knows? I'm not gonna say never, but definitely not on my agenda to leave this town because I also, also have a job here that I really, really enjoy. So yeah. I have one more question here. Liquor Black Roses, who is a lovely subscriber and Instagram follower of mine, she asks, what makes you start a YouTube channel? Well, honestly, what made me start a YouTube channel was I'm planning for the future. I've always had a life plan. I've had a timeline. It does not always go to plan but it's good to have dreams, hopes, and aspirations. And part of my life plan is to have a family eventually one day, have children, be a stay-at-home mom. And what really motivated me and pushed me to start a YouTube channel is that I was hoping one day in the future it would be big enough where I can do it from home. So obviously, as many of you might know, YouTube can be a full-time job for very many people out there. And that's what I'm hoping YouTube can become for me in the years to come. Obviously not right now, I'm not quitting my day job just yet and I'm not planning to anytime soon but I figured if I started my YouTube channel now hopefully in five to six years down the road it'll become a tangible job for me that I can do from home and hopefully by that time I will have a family and children <laughs> so yeah those are the only questions that I have right here right now if you guys have any questions swirling in your mind I don't care what kind of question it is ask me leave it in the comments down below I'm not an expert advisor but I know a few things in life I've gone through some shit and pain in my Life, so maybe I can help encourage you with some of that as well anyway I'm gonna leave it right there thank you guys so much for watching this video if you did like it please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe before you leave if you haven't already I still put new videos out every Monday Wednesday and Friday so you can turn on the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of those future uploads you can also follow me on my social media Facebook Instagram and Twitter all of them are life is geek guy and you can reach me on any of those platforms to ask me any questions thank you guys so much for watching thank you for being here I really appreciate that you've chosen to spend your time here with me today and I'll see you guys in my next video bye throw away from the oh she uh, mm. doesn't always go to plan there is no dumb question ask me ask me advice ask me i don't know i don't know